Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing Jensen's eight month update. Yes, that's you. The happiest baby in the world. He's so happy. I feel like loads has changed. But then I think actually a lot had changed last month and it's probably just the same stuff. I haven't watched his last month's one back to see if I've already said all this stuff. I'm just gonna say what he's like at eight months. He'll probably be like eight months and I don't know, 10 days or something when this actually goes live. First things first, sleep. You're a very good sleeper, aren't you? He's a really, really good sleeper. He goes down about seven o'clock normally at night and usually goes through till about 7.30, eight-ish, no, not eight-ish, that's probably a bit of a lie. Seven, 7.30 in the morning. He normally does around 12 hours and he's quite good that if he goes to bed later, like when we were on holiday, like to the Isle of Wight, we were in the clubhouse, and he couldn't sleep in the pushchair because it was so noisy and he didn't go to sleep till about nine and then he didn't wake up till like half eight. So he sleeps in his bedroom, he's in his own room now, in his cot, his big boy cot in a sleep bag. Usually he'll have his bottle when I'm getting him ready for bed and then I just put him in his bed with nothing. Like I put his projector, mobile lights and music thing on, make sure the blinds are down so it's nice and dark and go off to sleep by himself. He's really, really good at self-settling. Jasper wasn't at all, so that was my one thing. I wanted to make sure that this baby would self-settle, and you do very well, don't you? Sometimes I make the mistake of giving him his bottle too soon, like before I put him down to bed, so he's not in that kind of sleepy mode anymore, and on those times, he needs a dummy, whereas other times I give him his bottle, and then like within five minutes, I put him down in his bed, and he's normally sleepy enough to go straight to sleep, kind of like on his own. I don't know. I feel like I'm really waffling. Because of you, you're distracting me with your cuteness. He then has two naps during the day. Sometimes he'll have one, one big nap. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it's two small ones. Again, they'll be in his cot. But sometimes they could be in his little oh. Nuna chair downstairs. And they could be in the car seat if we're out and about. They could be in the push chair. He's quite good in that he'll sleep anywhere. He doesn't need to have a sleep bag when we're out and about. He doesn't always need to have a dummy. He's quite, mm -hmm. what's the word, not resilient, adaptable. You're adaptable. So yeah, sleep-wise, I'd say maybe three hours during the day, either one big three-hour nap or a two-hour and a one-hour. Sometimes like six half-an-hour naps. It just depends what we're doing. It doesn't matter what he has in the day, he'll always sleep well at night. Sometimes we do have the odd night where he'll wake up, but it tends to be kind of teething-related or if he's not eating much in the day, he might need a bit of milk. You! What are you doing? You're pulling on my top. Feeding-wise, he has three bottles a day of seven ounces of Aptamil formula. So he has one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. So he's having 21 ounces of formula a day, or in like a 24 hour period. He's also having three meals a day and some snacks. So typically he'd wake up, have a seven ounce bottle in the morning. He'd then have breakfast about an hour later, which is normally something like Weetabix. He has a whole Weetabix now with blue top cow's milk. Or he'll have porridge. Um, he might have toast with like avocado, almond butter. I always try and give him something spoon fed, like pureed. Um, and also some kind of finger foods just so that he can feed himself and he doesn't try and grab the spoon and like get out of the high chair. And then he'll have his nap and then he will have either lunch and then a bottle or a bottle then lunch. It doesn't really make a difference. I did worry that if I gave him lunch first he wouldn't have all of his bottle um, or if I gave him his bottle first he wouldn't have all of his lunch. I know that for him at the moment formula is more important. But yeah, it doesn't seem to make a difference and he's never kind of turned away one to have the other. What's the I just told everyone how happy you are, hey? And then maybe an afternoon nap, it depends how long his morning nap was. And then dinner, he always has dinner before his bottle in the evening because the bottle's what makes him sleepy ready for bedtime. But yeah, for lunch and dinner will just be normally a pouch. <laughs> it depends on what we're making. I like to put a lot of spices and stuff in our food. Sometimes it is easier just to give him a pouch. You, mister, are being a pickle. He also has water during the day. Normally when he's having his meals, like if he's having something like toast, I think it's a bit dry. I like to give him some water, especially when the weather's nice like it is at the moment. So yeah, that's where he's at sleep and feeding and all of that wise. He's in six to nine month clothes, but because he's quite long, some of the stuff's a bit short for you, isn't it? Or a bit tight. I got him a six to nine month t-shirt from River Island the other day and it's so tight on him. So um, I have already started putting him in some nine to 12 month clothing, which makes me sad because that means you're almost one. But yeah, he's so chubby. You've got two teeth. His two bottom teeth, and I think he might have two either side coming through. You can't see them yet, but every so often he gets really red in the face. And um, it's not poop. It's not poop. Even though he does poo a lot, 
you poo a lot a lot because you eat a lot. Still got the lovely long eyelashes, his hair's getting really thick, it is getting a bit light and it does have a little bit of a gingery tinge sometimes which is what Jasper's hair has. Yeah he's got really thick eyebrows, I know you guys can see this so you know, but my sister says he's got kind eyes like his granddad. Hey. Yes, you have. Yeah, he's just a big boy. He's really chubby. Milestones wise, so he's sitting, he's crawling. He doesn't army crawl, but every so often he gets up, like properly on his hands and knees, and then um, goes back down to an army crawl, like he doesn't actually crawl on his hands and knees. Um, he says, Mama, Dada, Baba. I think they're the only ones. He kind of waves. But if I ask him to do it, he won't, so I'm not even going to try and show you. He blows raspberries. He's a real shouter. He really shouts. Like, if Jasper takes one of his toys from him, or say, if Pete and Jasper are play fighting, he'll get really upset because he thinks Pete's hurting Jasper, and he'll start shouting at Pete. Yes, you do. You're a big shouter. Um, but yeah, he's just into everything at the moment. He's so wriggly, just grabs everything. Like, I'll put him in his bedroom. We have a stair gate on the stairs, but yeah, I'll put him in his bedroom. Next thing, he's in the bathroom. He's just everywhere. So we've had to baby-proof the house because nothing is safe anymore. What else? I can't think. He's been on an aeroplane. We flew up to Scotland. He's been on a ferry. We went over to the Isle of Wight. So you're getting around a little bit, aren't you? And he was really good on the plane. Oh, so he had an ear infection. I think I spoke about this in the last one. His ear just started leaking. I think I spoke about this. If I didn't, then I'll quickly explain. I put him down for his nap, absolutely fine. Two hours later, I heard him babbling away. This was over a month ago now. When I went to pick him up from the bed, I noticed that he had loads of gunk coming out of his ear. But he was absolutely fine, no screaming, crying or anything. But I took him to the doctors. He had a week of antibiotics, which didn't help. He had a week of ear drops, which also didn't help. Over that time he had two swabs taken. It came back that he had two different bacterial, like fungal infection kind of things in there. So they then gave him a new set of antibiotics which was a lot stronger, so I really didn't want to give it to him, but it worked. It, like, within the week, it was completely gone. We haven't had to do any more drops or anything. He doesn't scratch his head anymore, which he used to always do, so I think that was to do with the pressure from the ear infection, which makes me really sad. But yeah, his ear wasn't a problem on the plane at all, which was good, wasn't it? You're tired. You're tired, I can tell. I can tell. Yes, I can. You're a troublemaker when you're tired. But yeah, anyway, I'll leave it here now because I don't have anything else to say. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please do pop them below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. I forgot to say as well, I've put him down here now because he was just too wriggly. He went swimming for the first time this past month. He's been, he's been twice now, once up in Scotland and once in the Isle of Wight and he absolutely loved it. But yeah, that's it. That's all I can think really for his eight month update. Normally this is like, this is as bad as he gets. So um, I can't complain at all, but yeah, normally he's just so happy, so content. Quite often people say like, oh, where's the baby? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just forget because he's so good and so quiet normally. And then you turn into a shouty monster, a shouty wriggle wriggle bum.